the trailer did not leave me feeling excited. Like, whoa, I need to go. No, I did not feel that. I watched the trailer and I was just like, I hope this is better than the last one. Because part of me, part of me felt maybe that I wasn't their target audience. Do you sometimes trip and stumble over your words as a dungeon master? Are you not as eloquent and well-spoken as you'd like to be? Well, with Describe's professionally written narrative descriptions, you can dispense with the tongue tripping and wow your players with amazing descriptions of monsters, places, spells, items, and more. And Describe is constantly adding new features. For instance, they've begun rolling out loot and sundries, things you can find on monsters after you've murderized them all. Delivering imaginative, inspiring narration is an integral part of being a great dungeon master. And with Describe, you don't have to dungeon delve solo. There are tons of free scenes you can use without paying a penny, but if you want to unlock everything Describe offers, make sure you use the discount code the DM Layer to get 10% off. The person who's been playing D&D for a while, who really likes D&D and is, loves D&D, part of me felt like I'm not their target audience. Like this movie wasn't made for me, this movie was made for people who aren't quite as much into the game, who don't play the game a whole lot or not as much. It, it could be trying to draw in new, new players, people who watch other types of movies and stuff. Um, and let's get their attention. Let's get them interested in the game. So I, part of me was like, I don't know that I am their target demographic. Like people who have been dungeon mastering for a while, people who have been playing for a while, like maybe we're not their target demographic. There, there was part of me that thought that, you know, it's kind of like with the Vecna monster that came out, the Vecna Stabok and the Vecna Adventure. Part of me was like, I don't think that I'm their target demographic. Like Vecna was just way underpowered and the adventurer had Vecna all by himself, alone, no minions or nothing. Like a group is gonna tear him apart in like two rounds and destroy him. And so I was thinking like, I'm not their target demographic. They didn't make that adventure for me. They didn't make Vecna for me. They made it for, let's just call them casual players. And I know that some people think that's a dirty term or something. I'm not trying to use it in a negative way. I'm just trying to denote players who are like, you know, they're not as into it. They kind of play it casually every so often or something. And it's just kind of like, oh, let's just get around and play and throw dice and stuff. And you know, it doesn't have to be a very serious game. And if the combat's super easy and not challenging, that's okay. We don't worry about that. We're just kind of like just hanging out and just doing whatever. So it's it's a less serious game, just more casual, you know, which is not a bad thing. It's it's a way of playing, but I feel like the Vecna stat block was not made for me and not made for the people that are really into it. It was more for like this new audience you're trying to grab. Like here, here you have all of these people watching Stranger Things who are like, what's Vecna? Who's Vecna? And they're Google searching, who's Vecna? What's Vecna? And then, you know, Wizards wanted their Vecna stuff to be at the top of Google search engine. And so let's make a Vecna monster. Let's make a Vecna stat block. And they know that most of the people who are searching for Vecna are from Stranger Things. And they are probably maybe have never played D&D before and are just getting interested in it. And so let's have something that's casual, not super lethal, not super serious, because we don't want somebody to come for their first time and they're like, Vecna from from Stranger Things, yes, Vecna and D&D, let's play the game. And then the first time they play the game, they all die. Like that's not the game experience you want for new people coming to your game. And so that's what I'm trying to say. I don't think the Vecna stat block was made for me and maybe for many of us. It was made for different people just coming into D&D and just playing D&D. So I'm not, I'm not saying that Wizards, I believe, was very intentional about doing it that way because they had a target demographic they were trying to capture. And so I'm not complaining and I'm not necessarily trying to paint that in a negative light necessarily because they, they knew what they were doing. They're trying to expand the business and draw in new customers and new people that are playing the game. And that makes sense from a business perspective. So I get that. So I'm not necessarily saying that that's bad. I'm not throwing a temper tantrum and saying, where's my Vecna? I want a Vecna, why didn't I get one? I'm not doing that. You know, I'm just simply saying that it wasn't made for me. And in the same way, when I watched the D&D movie, like there was the, the trailer that just came out, Thief Among Rogues or whatever that thing was, Honor Among, Among Thieves, there was just part of me that was kind of like, I don't know if I'm their demographic. I don't know if this was meant for me. 
I wonder if this is meant for, you know, the more fringe people who maybe play D&D, maybe they don't, maybe they're interested in it. And maybe this is the movie that's going to get them interested and then bring them into the game. This might not be for me, you know, because they're trying to expand and draw in more and more people, which makes sense if you're running a business on the one hand. But of course, on the other hand, if you're running a business and you don't do things to keep your current customers happy, well, that's a problem, too, because if you're only ever worried about customer acquisition and bringing in new customers, but you're not also keeping your current customers, which is me and other folks here happy as well by giving us content that we can actually use and that we want to use. Well, then those customers, because they're dissatisfied that you're always just trying to acquire new customers with different types of products that appeal to them more, but don't appeal to me. Well, then I might go somewhere else. I might get my stuff, my D&D fix from a third party. I might go to like, you know, become a DM layer patron and get layer magazine, or I might go to somebody else's patron. I might start going to Kickstarters to get my different D&D products from third parties because Wizards is not creating stuff that appeals to me. They're acquiring customers, but not taking care of their current customers, right? And so uh, there's a balance there, right? And I, I feel like with the Vecna stuff, with the movie stuff, those were all stilted toward new customer acquisition. People who maybe aren't really hardcore D&D players and fans, but people who are on the fringes and maybe can be convinced to come in. And they weren't really made for me, perhaps not made for you. So that that's kind of like the feeling I got from those two things, if that makes sense. And it maybe is a slightly negative take, right, from my perspective. Um, but it's not meant to totally be a negative diss on their the way they did it. I think it's just recognition of, yeah, they took a particular strategy and tactic of doing this and they were servicing other potential customers. And I did I get the shaft a little bit? Maybe, you know, but does it really matter? Like, I don't, it's a DD and d movie. Like, who cares? I'm not going to get worked up about a D&D &D movie. Vecna is a stat block. I'm not going to get worked up about it. Like, if I don't like Vecna's stat block, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to make my own. In fact, that's exactly what we're doing. We're literally making our own Vecna stat block in the October issue of Layer Magazine. Oh, it's November bonus content? Okay, sorry. It's not October. It's going to be in November. November. We're going to have a standalone adventure where we make our own Vecna stat block. We can't call it Vecna, of course, because that would be problematic for us legally. But we're going to make our own Vecna stat block that's actually going to be a real legitimate challenge for its CR. And we're going to make our own adventure that features Vecna. Click on the screen now to watch another fine DM Layer video or to become a DM Layer patron, play D&D with me and get an issue of Layer Magazine every month. And until next time, let's play D&D.